For more than 30 years, PACE has helped 3,500 girls across Florida. The mission for PACE Center for Girls is to provide girls and young women the opportunity for a better future through education, counseling, training, and advocacy. Joining me this morning is the Community Engagement Manager, Tammy Garrett. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. You. So talk about PACE and the benefit for girls locally, why it's so important. It's important because we give them hope. We give them the tools to continue their education academically and then also socially so the girls are able to have a counselor on staff to help with their social service needs. So what type of girls are involved in PACE? So usually the girls that come to us are academically behind one to two years, but also have some type of risk, other risk factors. It could be mental health, substance abuse, their parents could be incarcerated, or they could live in the foster care system. So these children without PACE, what would happen to them? Uh, they would get lost in the system. Basically, they would drop out of school. Um, a lot of our girls come to us with truancy. Um, so it, we, get, we encourage them to get up in the morning and come to school and provide them the skills that they need. Can you tell me a quick success story, just you know, how PACE has really benefited just somebody that locally here, of course? Absolutely. So about two and a half years ago, we had a young lady that came to us. Um, and she was struggling. Her um, sister had cancer. And she had just lost her grandmother, and um, she was really struggling, dealing with depression. And um, she stayed with us for about a year and a half, and we were able to give her the counseling. Unfortunately, her sister did pass away, um, but she did graduate from us um, a year and a half ago, and she's now in the, in the military. And obviously, a situation like that for, for anyone is traumatic, but especially a child trying to make it through school. Absolutely. And so that's where that counseling comes in, helping. That's wonderful. So you all have a fashion show coming yes, up. Yes, we do. To raise money for PACE and, and ultimately these, these young women that you're helping. So talk about that for me. So the fashion show is Tuesday evening at the Casa Marina Hotel. Um, we are presenting the Steinmart uh, 2018 Fall Fashion Line. And uh, so it's going to be from 5.30 to 7.30. And the girls are going to be the models. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, we're going to have a silent auction, and um, it's going to be a wonderful event showcasing the girls. Are the girls excited? Yes, about this? they are very <laughs> excited, very excited. And honestly, that's probably good for them. I mean, a confidence builder, and the community is actually seeing the girls that are, that are being affected by this. Definitely. Um, part of my job, which I love, is connecting the community to PACE. Even though PACE started here in 1985, um, there's a lot of people that don't know what PACE is and what we do. And um, that's what I love about my job is letting them know what we do at Pace Jacksonville. And so once this money is raised through the fashion show, how will it be used, as I said, to benefit these girls? It helps them um, in their day-to-day -day operations. Obviously, it helps them with counseling. We do job shadowing program, bringing uh, different corporations into the center, giving them a, a scope of what's available out there to them, and obviously continuing their education after they leave us. If there's a family out there that's watching or even a young girl and wants to get involved with PACE, how can they do that? They, we have Miss Kathy, our intake counselor. Um, she, all they have to do is call the center at uh, PACE Jacksonville at 904-448-8002. And the family schedules an appointment and comes in with, and meets with Miss Kathy. Sounds pretty simple. Pretty simple. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Of course, Pace is hosting that fashion show, which will feature some of the girls and staff. It is Tuesday, 530 at the Casa Marina Hotel in Jacksonville Beach. Tickets are $50. We've included a link to buy those on our website at newsforjax.com. You can just look under the morning show page. Thanks so much. Thank you.